Okay, continuing on with Little Drummer Boy. Hope you had a uh, good holiday weekend. And uh, hope you were rooting for the beavers in the Civil War. Good game, exciting game. I'm assuming you saw it. Maybe you didn't, but I'm kind of assuming you did. Um, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the little drummer boy up an octave. And we're going to be discussing some harmonic variations and options. Because we want you to know about these sort of things and not just mindlessly play what I tell you to play. <clears throat> so, we're playing basically the same thing that we played in the lower register. Right? Um, except now we're in the upper register to uh, create some interest. And like I said, we'll get, we're going to discuss some harmonic options. And so we're starting here with the open, open, four, two, three, which is just a D chord. Okay? So we have one, two, and then we're going to slide up. So when you go up to this um, seven, six, five, just basically kind of slide that ring finger up to the seven, and then these two fingers just flip-flop, change strings. get to the zero zero seven 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 and we're gonna bar first finger if you can one two and three four and one two and three four and one more time that rump up bum bum ba 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 bum okay and you'll see that we have a number one a number two a number three and a number four so they're all variations um, on there are four different ways to harmonize the bum 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 okay now the first one is very straightforward we would just drop the second finger down onto the eighth fret so there we're not changing the chord at all the chord is staying a d chord one two and three four and one and two and so that time i actually used my ring finger i think because that came a little more naturally to me than using the second finger but whatever finger works it really doesn't matter Okay, now looking at option number two is, uh, is the, sli um, the slightest variation. One, two, and three, four, and going to option number two, we're dropping the ring finger down onto the D string and the second finger down onto the E. So we have open, open, nine, seven, eight. So we have. So what we've done there is we've kind of played a G chord, but we're keeping this D and the A in the bass. And then we resolve it back to the D. We come back to the zero zero seven seven seven. So listen for that note right there. Okay. I'll play that with option number two. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and. 
So we got a slight variation on the in the harmony there. Now when we look at number three, um, presents a little bit more dramatic change in the harmony because there we come up to the same point. You know, it starts the same. One, two, and three, four, and. Now we have zero, zero, eight, seven, eight. And what that does is that creates a G minor chord. So the first chord was a G with this note added. The second time, um, in option number three, we're taking this note and moving it down to here, but we're using these fingers instead because it falls a little bit more naturally. And that sound is going to be... Okay? So you have some dissonance there, and the reason you have a dissonance is you have that open A string here, but on that eighth fret of the D string, you have a B flat or an A sharp. So you end up with that. So that creates a lot of tension. It creates some dissonance, and you know what we say about dissonance. It's just dissonance. So listen to that one. Subjective, but it's nice to have the options. A lot of times when I play this song, what I'll do is I will use, let's say, this option, option uh, two. And then when I repeat it, I'll use option three. Okay? Um, I've actually had people comment that they really like that kind of switch up. It kind of catches your ear by surprise if you do that. It's not going to that minor sound there isn't used a lot. Um, option number four is the, um, the biggest deviation from the, from the harmony that is normally used in this song. And it creates um, a lot of dissonance, but I actually like it. So if we just look at what we have in option four, we have the, these, these, still these two notes at the bottom, the D and the A. And then we come to that eight again, and we know that we already talked about the conflict, the dissonance that that creates, because that, that note there is an A sharp or B flat, which comes in direct, into direct conflict with that um, open A string. Now we've added even more dissonance by using six, eight, six, okay? That note right there is a D flat. And we know we have this D down in the bass. So we have a D flat against a D, and then A flat against an A. So it's like we're really, uh, you know, throwing in the kitchen sink here, or whatever that uh, uh, saying is, because now we have uh, two robust examples of dissonance. So we end up with this sound. If we just strum the chord, okay, very dissonant. Now, when we go to that option, that's the fingering that I use. I use ring finger, first finger, and pinky. And this way I have that middle finger ready to, you, you know, press down on the seventh fret of the B, the B string. So we have the... And then back to the 00777. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play all four options in a row. I'm going to play from the beginning to option one, go back to the beginning two, etc., etc. So you can hear how they all sound. 
two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and Okay, to the beginning. different notes. That was option two. Going in now to do number three. One, two, and three, four, and three. See, when you put the dissonance in the context of the song, as is so often the case, it, it doesn't, it's not as um, noticeable, if that's the word, but it is there, and it, once again, it, it kind of tweaks your ear. And now option four. Okay. What's interesting about that is it's going from this chord back to this chord. They all go back to this chord, which is just the D chord. When we use option number four, we have this note, which kind of wants to go back to this one. And we have this note with the first finger that wants to come up to this one. So you kind of have, it's going in two different directions, which is actually why I like it. There's so much happening there harmonically um, that that's kind of my favorite. Plus I like to play the unexpected. Okay, so after you would play, um, you would play from the beginning. Now, obviously, when you're playing it, you would just pick one of those. You wouldn't play all of them. You'd play the first measure, and then you'd either play one, two, three, or four, and then you'd move on. You continue on to the first measure in line three, which is just the bomb, 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 right? Just like the um, the lower arrangement. And then we would continue on. And then you see why what I put up there was one, two, three, or four, which is basically pick one. Pick number two if you want. Pick number three. Pick number four. And then another bomb. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back um, to the beginning and I'm going to play all the way to the end of line three. As a matter of fact, I'll go as far as the first measure in line four. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it and I'm just going to do a random mix. I'm not even going to tell you which one I'm playing. See if you can tell which of the options that I'm using each time that I get to that point in the song. Here we go. Three, four. So did you follow that? I played the very first measure, picked one of the variations, and then went to the first measure in line three, continued on, picked one of the variations, and played the first measure in line four. Okay, I hope that's clear and not confusing. I'm going to do it again. Three, four. switches to the A chord, 
Now what I did is I, I put the entire A chord there, which is um, 0, 7, 6, 5. And then what I tend to do is wrap my thumb around the top just a little bit. So I, so I don't, you don't hear that low D. Okay, I suppose if you did hear it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But coming off of the first measure in line four. So what I'm trying to say there is you want to put your hand on the entire chord. You want to put your hand on the open five, uh, open seven, six, five. But you don't necessarily want to play the whole thing. I try to, you know, play maybe just the open A and the seven. Just kind of those two notes little bit of the six but I try to not get that five if I can avoid it because that's going to be the melody note when you get to the second chord and then we go and then we drop the ring finger and the second finger down on eight nine so we have one two Okay, I'm going to take it back to the beginning and play all the way to the second measure in line four. From the beginning, and once again, I'll just pick an option. I'll play measure one. I'll pick either one, two, three, or four. And then I'll be, after I pick one of those, I'll be on the first measure of line three. I'll play through. Once again, pick one of the options. First measure of line four and then switch the chord to the A and continue. Here we go, from the beginning, three, four. One, two. stop there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again, but I want to do it as a play along to make sure that you're following the arrangement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it four times, okay, as a play along. And what I'm going to do is the first time I play it, I'm going to use option one, second time option two, second time option three, second, and the fourth time uh, option four. So I'm going to play all four options and continue on through the A chord, through the second measure of line four, and then I'm going to stop. Okay, this way you'll have a play along for all of those variations. So once again, one, two, three, and four in order. Three, four. So that was using option one. I'll go back and do it using option two, three, four.
Option three. Three, four. Option four, three, four. Okay, so that's probably a lot to work on. I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to continue the song because I just really think that that is a lot. Um, and please, if that's if that's not clear, um, what I'm doing, get back to me right away, and we will we will clarify it. Okay, so hope you're having fun with the song. Like I said, it's one of my favorites uh, to play on the guitar, and uh, let me know how you're doing on it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.